Hello, and welcome back to Bandit Network Television. Thank you for tuning back in. Now, I want you to think about that, y'all. This judge over there in eastern Kentucky and the Appalachians over there in Letcher County, you know, bottom line, both the judge and Mickey Steins had skeletons within their closet. From the beginning, you had rumors who are who which were circulating that the judge was talking to the sheriff's daughter. I can't confirm nor deny that. However, because of the latest news and with him mentoring quote unquote the sheriff's daughter, I could see why it would be a personal thing. And like I said, it was a personal thing. Even before knowing that information, I thought it was a personal thing. Uh, after hearing that he was shot eight different times. That being said, Mickey Steins, I've also heard, had demons within his closet too, and things that he was dealing with. And this is coming from the ones who were closest to him. Allegedly. Allegedly. Neither one is perfect. One man has taken his secrets to the grave. One man, the other man, the one who shot and killed uh, a public figure, which mind you, some recent information came out that Mickey Steins, former Sheriff Mickey Steins, could be facing the death penalty under Commonwealth law, Kentucky law because it's a public official. So, and he's being charged with first degree murder, one count which he has pled not guilty to. But it has been confirmed somewhat that pretty much according to the witnesses and testimony within the court, uh, that the judge was in some type of communication with former Sheriff Stein's daughter. It's also been said that soon after this happened, after he shot and killed Judge Mullins, he called his daughter once, not once, but twice. Once from his phone and the other time from the judge's phone. Now, why would he be calling his daughter from the judge's phone. And also another thing that I just thought about is uh, the daughter, uh, his Stein's daughter. I'm sure that she's going to be called in question because this is going to trial. He pled not guilty. So now he has to fight for his life um, for premeditated murder. The video, which was shown, pictures Judge Mullins uh, getting under or attempting to dodge a bullet by getting underneath his desk, unsuccessfully attempted. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, this was this was a heat of passion. So is that where this case is going to go? In regards to the defense, the opposite side. His defense could claim, well, it was just a heat of passion, you know. He found out that he it was confirmation uh, that the judge was talking to his daughter behind his back. Who knows what kind of conversations took place. All I'm saying is probably inappropriate in nature. That being said, Sheriff Stein's got confirmation. Keep in mind that the same day that this happened, the two of them went out to lunch together just three hours before. If, if I'm not mistaken, this happened around 3 p.m. I could be wrong. Um, 
but just three hours before, a couple, a few hours before, they were having lunch. One thing that I've always questioned was, did Sheriff Steins, how much did he plan this out? Did he plan on taking Nikki, or I'm sorry, uh, the judge, <laughs> out to his last supper, right? It is also going to be insightful to see what conversations took place because I'm sure the two of them uh, talked about things. Uh, what was the energy like between the judge and Steins? Was it awkward? Was he standoffish? Was there anything that alluded to people that who else could have been there um, that could have that they just found peculiar or just off about his behavior? Or like I said before, was this just a heat of the passion thing? I find it hard to believe that he just got confirmation that his daughter was talking inside the courtroom. That tells me that he already suspected something was happening and this whole thing could be pre-planned. This is my hypothesis. That is my opinion, allegedly, on this true crime case. But I'm curious to hear what you have to say in the comments below. And your theories, like, share, and subscribe. And thank you once again for watching Bandit Network Television. Go check out Bandit Network TV on Facebook and also on Rumble.